don't mean to bother you, but I just wanted to check in on you. I just got back from work and I see you're already in bed and I wanted to make sure you're okay. Check on how you're doing. You're fine, honey. Listen, I mean it when I say I want to check on you. So actually tell me how you feel, because I know you're not fine. I just have my ways of knowing. How? Okay, well, you parked with your car facing in, um, which you usually don't do that unless you're upset and extra eager to go to bed, or you're on the phone, and usually if you're on the phone after work, the only one who calls you is your mother, and that generally results in you being upset and wanting to be in bed, so that kind of leads me to that, uh, plus the fact that you are in bed in a hoodie, even though you're under a weighted comforter, and I know that's got to be warm, and let's be honest, <laughs> this is your dysphoria comfort hoodie, so do you want to tell me what's going on? Just a bad day today. I get that. Yeah, I've... <laughs> I haven't been doing the best myself with depression. It's been a bit heavier than usual lately. Which, I guess, trading honesty for honesty there. <laughs> now you know, now I know. Do you want to talk about it? Or no, that's fine. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. May I offer some comfort though? Like what? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, what do you want? You want some just gentle head scratches because I would be happy to oblige okay well in that case sit up you can hop out of bed and just sit on the floor between my knees and let me just play with your hair or just lay your head on my lap and here you go There you go. Aren't you just so precious? What's that? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I am talking like that. Uh, I just got off of work, so <clears throat> it's a bit difficult to shed the accent, you know, it kind of just kicks in, try to sound like the people I'm around, you know, well, I mean, if you like it, then, heck, I'd be happy to go even deeper into it, <laughs> it may sound a bit ridiculous, but I can give it a shot. Yes, yes. Aren't you just such a good girl? Yes, you are. Mm. 
mind if I just ramble a bit as I pet your hair? Merle, I'm happy to. If it helps you get your mind off things. Let's see. Let's uh, tell you about my day. Well, first, I kind of had to start by tidying things up around the office. Cleaning up some old projects. I was doing some repairs on HPs. Uh, to their shenanigans. As always, running into some new weird condition with one of their devices. Things that aren't documented. I hate it. I digress. Uh, at least I digress on that rant. Uh, you know, I can rant for hours and hours about brands I don't like. Or weird design decisions that I'll find they make. But let's see. After I finish cleaning the office, tidying up my workspace, I had a service call. I had to fix a POS terminal that check out at a restaurant that um, couldn't connect to the network. Yeah. It looks like it was just a bad cable. It was a really old cable too. It was Cat5. Uh, not 5E even. Um, and I forget. I'm sorry. I often forget that you don't know all that terminology so well, but a Cat5 is a type of Ethernet cable. Let's see. Older type, much older, and it's much slower. Most of what we use now is Cat5e and Cat6. So I replaced the Cat5 cable with a Cat6. Redid. Uh, the cable management so it still looks nice and tidy. And that was all I had to do there. After that, I had to go and configure a modem for someone. And of course, it had some weird things going on with it because nothing ever works how it's supposed to. As inconvenient as it is, I suppose I can call that job security. <laughs> Frankly, I'd like to be designing new systems more than fixing ones that are broken, but hey, it definitely pays the bills. So, <laughs> right. Uh, let's see, what did I do after that? Um, some security work, some billing, some stuff with their web design customers. It was actually a pretty uneventful day, which I am not going to complain. getting a new uh, asset management system put in place, so that's a bit exciting. Uh, let me just whisper sweet nothings into your ear, and by sweet nothings I mean technical jargon. But hey, I'm happy to give you that to think about and to keep you nice and occupied because I know how it can be when your mind will make problems or find reasons to worry if it doesn't have something else to do. I know how dangerous boredom can be. Like I said, depression has not been treating me well. 
lately, but I'm making it. Hmm. Your hair's a bit greasy, I can tell you didn't shower. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't mind in the scent of your musk. <laughs> Sorry. I guess it is a bit weird to say to my flatmate, but... You do smell good. I'm happy to sit on the same seat that you usually sit on on the couch. Okay, so there's... <sighs> that's... <laughs> that's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that is why I always lie. Um... On the couch that way instead of the other way. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but I. Yeah. I don't have the best sense of smell, but the things I do smell, but, you know, just like most people, they trigger memories and. I've got a lot of good memories with you. So. I like things that bring them back. What's that? No, I, I haven't been stealing your soap. I, I promise I haven't been stealing your soap. <laughs> But now that you give me the idea, well, maybe I'll give that a shot. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Plus, it wouldn't be quite the same on me. And then it would be mixed with the smell of fiberglass roofing material on the days that I was running cable and things like that and I gotta say that is not that is not a good smell it doesn't have much of a smell it's more so just the fact that it's irritating but <laughs> uh, here I am rambling but <laughs> I mean if that can distract you a bit I'm happy to do so now When's the last time you've cleaned your ears? Mm, I can tell it's not too recently. How? Oh. Well, they're just a bit more waxy than they probably ought to be. Mind if I give you a little hand with that? I'll be gentle. Here. Okay. We've got just a bit of isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to just gently rub. The other part of your ears. Don't worry, I'm not going to stick this cloth in your ear. Or not, <laughs> I'm not going to stick it deep down. I know better than to do that. Just near the outside. Mm. 
There we go, that's a bit better. Junior had some. Get at the other side. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Flip the cloth inside out. Wash your face some. Um. Because, mm, I don't know, just some, I, I honestly don't know, it's some sort of instinct that kicks in when I know that you're not okay, I want to take care of you, so that's what I do. You want to go back to sleep now? Well, I need to get ready for bed myself, so... I should probably get up in a second, but... I can stay here for just a minute longer. There you go. Mm, such a good girl. Such a good girl.
Nailed in. I hope you're nice and relaxed. Once this video's over, it's time to get off YouTube, put your phone down, and actually get yourself some sleep, okay? Huh? Staying up and staying up and staying on your phone is only gonna make you more anxious. Sleep helps. So get some sleep, alright? Be a good girl. Sleep time.